Good evening, you're back with Kathy, the Artie Mummy and today we are going to do a version of this little painting which is a, just a print of a painting that I did a couple of years ago really fun, really easy and um, I know my little art class enjoyed it so hopefully you guys will too so I'm gonna pop that up there out the way and I forgot to mention when I was recording this that you'll also need a you spray bottle. You will need some liquefying medium or some fluid medium of some medium of some description. I love the Atelier brand. Um, not affiliated with them at all, but that it is a really nice um, brand of um, medium. They're all really nice quality. So I'm just going to pour some of this into a cup. I've got a fairly big canvas here. The original wasn't this big. Um, we also have dioxazine purple, phthalo blue, titanium white, Mars black, and Prussian blue hue. So we're just going with shades of bluey, purpley, black and white. Very, very simple palette. First of all, we're going to start with maybe some purple. Just pour a little bit of that into my cup. Along with liquefying medium. And I have a nice big brush here. You can Add a little bit of water to this, but oh, look at that, isn't that lovely? And we're going to be putting on liberal amounts of paint. So this first section of this painting is very, um, I suppose you could say, abstract. And we're just going to be blobbing that on. Now this will end up being like a pour, so if you'd rather do a pour then um, just grab your colours and pour them on and tilt it and have a lot of fun. Um, I find this uses a bit less paint and gives you a little bit more control, but um, you know, whatever colours and whatever pattern, um, whatever way you want to do it um, that makes you happy, go for it. Okay now without even bothering to rinse, pour some more liquefying medium in there. Um, phthalo blue mix it up like a little milkshake and I am just going to add just a little bit of water to this because it's a slightly more heavy bodied paint. Oops, are we still there? Put some of that on. I find painting like this um, really therapeutic. Uh, there's no pressure, there's no, um, no real set way of doing it you're just putting the paint wherever you feel like putting and putting on whatever colors you feel like putting on and putting them where you feel like putting them and um and it really doesn't matter what you do in this painting um this way of doing it it's going to come out great anyway so you know stress less and go for it white into it The reason we don't want to use water particularly for this, although you can, and it'll work just as well to um, liquefy your paint. If you add too much water to acrylic, it loses its ability to bind and it could end up lifting off your canvas on you. Um, 
Nobody really wants that. Not fun. This might seem a little bit insane at the moment. But trust me, it'll come out in the end. And now I'm going to add a bit of suppression glue here. It's much darker blue. And again, some liquefying medium. Be again a little bit of water, just because a much heavier body paint. that slightly subdued nighttime hues. So up the top there. Now I want to keep this pretty vibrant so I'm not going to go too overboard with that. We'll add a little bit more of the phthalo blue. mind that this is going to take quite a while to dry. So I think I'll post this uh, video up in two sections. The first one will be the, the background or um, very wet pool paint type area and the second part will be the painting on top of that once it's dried. So we'll post that up tomorrow evening. Notice that I'm sort of going in a, a diagonal motion with this. And just putting loads and loads of paint on the canvas. to make sure that that binder's in there and I just want to add a bit more purple because that um, that Prussian blue is kind of taking over the world a little bit oh that's pretty paint down lots and lots and lots this is almost um, almost like a pool Still not rinsing this cup. 
I want this to be um, very soft and subtle. Um, if you want a more vibrant um, light coming through your sky, um, by all means rinse your cup out or grab a new cup and put some bright white on there. Um, it will mix with the other colours and become slightly subtle but it will be brighter if you um because you can see I've got a very a light purple going there rather than a white um, again up to you um, have fun with it Okay. Now we're going to allow it to tilt and run. This just starts the process of getting those colours, um, getting movement in them, um, merging together a little bit and um, very soon we'll get out the, uh, the water gun and, and get it to move a lot more. I didn't really want to use too much water initially because now I'm going to give it a bit of a spray. Don't overdo it. And again I'm going to allow it to to run and do its thing. If we'd used water earlier rather than the liquefying medium we would um, definitely be running the risk of losing the binder in the paint and having it crack and peel and do all sorts of nasty things. into it a little bit. I love getting my fingers in there and um, just feeling the paint, getting in touch with how the painting's feeling. Here I'm just trying to get the, the darker colours to come through that light on top and just encouraging them to, to mix a little bit um, without necessarily turning into what, all one colour. There really is no right or wrong with this. Um, also, as long as you're just concentrating on the top two-thirds of the painting, later on when we paint over this with the foreground, it's going to cover up the, the bottom third. So don't worry about the bottom bit, just concentrate on the top two-thirds. I really love um, watching how the paint behaves and watching the beautiful, interesting patterns that it makes. And just, um, you know, I really love the viscosity of it. It's beautiful. So much fun. So relaxing. Yeah, it's getting quite pretty. I think I might just let that continue.
And just watch it until you're happy with where it is and what it's doing. I think I quite like that. I'm looking for soft and subtle variety in those colours that I put down. There we go. There's a, one or two little spots there that didn't mix the paint quite enough. got them. Now I'm going to go wash up and uh, wipe down my table. And that concludes part one. I'm going to set that out to dry now and um, we'll be continuing with it tomorrow. If you're enjoying this painting please like, subscribe, hit the little notification button and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm the Artie Mummy saying good night for now. Bye bye.